Our final topic, topic, topic is that of local topics and miscellaneous. Let's start with some local topics. First, let's start with one of my favorites, that of Betty Crocker. Jenner Mills created the character of Betty Crocker to deal with the questions it received during a contest in the mail from customers about cooking. Through the years, the advertisement of Betty Crocker, General Mills actually adapted her to fit the times. In the 1920s, Betty Crocker appeared on radio programming and a cooking show giving advice and answering questions. In the 1930s, she offered advice on how to stretch the food dollars to fit a Great Depression budget. During World War II, she taught Americans how to cook underneath rationing. And in the 50s and 60s, she adapted and made cooking easier by simplifying instructions through a revolutionary picture cookbook and using boxed cake mixes. In short, Betty Crocker was not just an advertisement, but became an institution to many families. General Mills had been smart in adapting this idea of Betty Crocker to develop and meet the needs and responsibilities and realities of American families throughout the decades. This is a pretty popular topic and works really well for History Day. Another great local topic is that of the American Indian Movement. In 1968, the American Indian Movement was created in response to more moderate movements that focused on reservation rights. AIM founders felt that the goals of self-rule didn't go far enough and didn't deal with the needs of the urban Indian. AIM wanted to protect earlier treaty rights, including land rights and hunting and fishing rights. AIM also encouraged cultural pride among American Indians. One of their first actions was to seize the replica of the Mayflower in Boston during a Thanksgiving. Additionally, in 1971, members occupied Mount Rushmore for a few days, as it was created in the Black Hills of South Dakota, which had long been sacred to the Lakota. In 1971, AIM protester, protesters went to the Bureau of Indian Affairs, which administered programs and land trusts for Native Americans. They occupied the headquarters in Washington, D.C., and gained national attention there. While AIM's demands were not met, they succeeded in gaining national attention on American Indian issues. They found more success through the court system by suing for treaty rights, hunting rights, and fishing rights. And today, a main goal of AIM is the educational programs for American Indians here in Minneapolis. Finally, let's go to a topic that's just miscellaneous, that of Watergate. On June 27, 1972, the Democratic National Committee headquarters were broken into. At first glance, it appeared to be a burglary, but after some investigation, they found that burglars had ties to President Nixon's office. One was the... one of the burglars had been part of a committee to re-elect the Republican Richard Nixon. Nixon began to cover up his ties to the break-in and managed to win the presidency. It was after his election that the Watergate scandal broke, named after where the break-in took place. It was discovered that rumors had been spread about Democrats and that some campaign contributions had been hidden. There was enough evidence for a Senate investigation to determine who was responsible for the scandal. Through the process, they discovered that Nixon recorded many meetings. Discussion over the tape and right of executive privilege over the tapes caused Nixon's approval rating to plummet. The Senate determined there was enough information there to impeach Nixon, and Nixon opted to resign instead. For many Americans, this episode changed the amount of trust that they gave the president and changed the way they viewed them forever.